fans as well. We love to have the opportunity to bring matches of this magnitude to you. And we really don't know what's going to happen, but somebody we know will leave here with a piece of silverware and somebody else will leave here in tears. Showpiece event like this, invariably, there is a hero at the end of it. And then at those 22 players, I wonder who that might be. It's Monaco playing, and they play Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this should be a marvellous game of football, really. Lots of elements in it. And we've got Falcao against Akel Di Maria. Well, Falcao, he's a top-class finisher. He never loses his head. He places it into the corner with great composure. As for Angel Di Maria, he's just majestic when he's got the ball at his feet and he's playing little one-twos with teammates. Monaco's lineup today, Daniel Subasic starts in goal, Fabinho starts with Jean Moutinho in midfield, Falcao is the sole striker today. Paris Saint-Germain, this is their lineup. In goal, Kevin Trapp, Thiago Silva plays with Marquinhos in central defence, Julian Draxler starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks, Edison Cavani is the main striker today. Well, we're still calling them Paris Saint-Germain. Alan, I know there's a big move afoot within the club to be called Paris FC. They want to simplify their name. Now, there is in the lower levels of uh, French football a Paris FC already, so I don't know how they're going to work that out, but PSG still for us. Yeah, and a team now that's consistently uh, challenging at the top of European football and long overdue, really, because Paris has been punching beneath his weight for a long time. Angel Di Maria, Matuidi, onto the attack now. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Now they've got the ball, let's see what they can do with it. Aurier. They've got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them. Carl, the work rate here is absolutely incredible. His manager must absolutely love him, the work rate he gets through. He's coming forward. No booking from the referee, just a free kick. <laughs> Defender to it first. And that will be a goal kick. Gregor Krikowiak. Bit of pressure on the player, that's why it's gone out. Falcao. Promising build-up until that challenge. Live at Kozawa. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Attacking well here. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Julian Draxler. And he'll want to clear his lines here, but make sure it's a bit more than just hoofing it upfield. It's a turnover of possession here. Angel Di Maria. Tackle here. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Matuidi. Krichowiak. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Cleverly done with that technique. Very well done with the inside of the head as well as the outside. Good pass. 
There's some potential in this move. The shot's on. Great stop. And that'll be a corner. Shots on here. Easy work for the keeper here. Into the attacking third. Cavani moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Nicely played through ball. Well, here comes the support. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Aurier. Maybe he'll cross it here. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. A timely challenge. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Matuidi. Won it back with an interception. It's not that long ago, Alan, is it, since uh, Monaco had that season out of the limelight, out of the top flight. But they're back and they're more than capable, you feel, of giving a side as good as PSG a really good game here. Fantastic players, Falcao, and James Rodriguez, Berbatov, of course. Jean Moutinho, attacking now. Falcao, gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Angel Di Maria. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Possession given away once more. Sidibe. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. It was good progress with this attack. Angel Di Maria. Good through pass. He's got his shot off now. And behind off the frame of the goal. Sidibe. And there's the interception. Falcao. Well, this is great teamwork, the way they're knocking the ball around. Two oohs around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Cavani. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Stopped emphatically and just... And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Well, you can imagine the manager down there in the dressing room saying, come on, lads, we can still do it. Keep playing. So we're all set for the second half. Gian Moutinho. And he gives it back to him. 
Jean Moutinho. And the goalkeeper. It's his ball. Thiago Mota. They've got the ball back by that interception. Aurier. We see so often the impact of substitutes. We're going to see a substitution here. Krichowiak. Defender to it first. Cavani! Very good stop here. That's going to be a corner. Baratti. And they've cut it out. Doing well to keep the ball. The shot's on! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Into the attacking third. Angel Di Maria. Tremendous understanding from these players. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Promising build-up until that challenge. Gian Moutinho. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Aurier. Could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Matuidi. Aurier. Thiago Silva. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Here the challenge is a good one. Mendy. Falcao. And he could get away here. And here's the shot. It's a big moment in a big match. The opening goal. Well, in a game that's been tight, who knows how decisive that might be. He saw the gap down in the bottom corner. Boy, did he find it well. Well, that is the sign of a clinical finisher. Somebody that knows where the goals are. They don't have to look up. Draxler. 20 minutes now remaining. Matuidi. It's been a very good game and the substitutes might be able to make it even better. We're going to get a change. Paris Saint-Germain given the throw. It's going to make a change and it's clearly a tactical one. There doesn't seem to be any injury involved. Baratti, trying to find a way through here, probing away. Played into the middle. Matuidi! Corner. The influence of Angel Di Maria, we expected it to be pretty positive at the start, but he hasn't been able to exert his skills on the game at all. Yeah, well, as you can see, he's touched the ball very few times, but, you know, he doesn't need too many touches to make a difference. Jean Moutinho. He 
that's a clever pass. Jean Moutinho. And now the shot. Well, it's tight with just a one-goal margin. It should be a two-goal margin. It's a miss. Yeah, and you wonder whether they'll look back and regret that because of a great chance to put some proper daylight between themselves and their opponents. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. There's some potential in this move. He's got his shot off now. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. And the interception is a vital one. And he's threaded the pass through neatly. Ferrati! There's the equaliser. Well, they needed that, didn't they? It looked like their chins were dropping there for a second. Very good effort, this, from this team to get level late on. Well, they might be believing they could go on and win this now. They've got the momentum. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Play right back. Angel Di Maria. Baratti. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball? Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Toure. Three minutes from the referee via the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Could be dangerous. Well, cow. High-class goalkeeping. And late in the game, he's kept his team in it. It's still level. Well, the best keepers make the shot on. That's a good block. Not a turnover in play here with that interception. This could be dangerous. Malcao! He's reached it and turned it aside. The referee's given the corner. And the chance now to pour men forward. Fist away by the shots on here. The goal comes at a crucial time, and the opposition running out of time to get back in it. Well, if that ends up winning the cup, it was a more than worthy goal to mark it. Very good build up, Alan. Very good goal. Oh, those kind of rebound goals. I used to love getting them because it's all about anticipation. A very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. Well, there is the final whistle, and that confirms what we've been knowing for some time, that they are the champions. Alan. Yeah, absolute joy amongst those players. They've worked long and hard haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so, and boy, they deserve it. These are special moments for a very successful team. Congratulations to them. Wonderful scenes of joy here. And no wonder they're milking the moment. They want to make absolutely the most of this. Well, they're a proper team, aren't they? They've stuck together, defended really well in this competition and snatched the goals the uh, vital time so fully deserved winners there they go they are the champions
total happiness. You play the game for these kind of moments. If you're in it, you want to win it, and they have won it. And no wonder they're going to the fans because those supporters have played a, a huge part in this triumph. They've stuck by these players. They've needed them the most. Special scenes here. Well, you have to have the team photo. And they're getting ready for it now. Yeah, one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home.